Hello everybody, my name is Pites, and welcome to Getting Over It with Ben Foddy. Um, you know, so if you've been living under a rock, and, um, you know, you've been on the internet for, you know, a couple years, um, uh, about a year ago, I think, this game was really popular because it was one of the most rage-inducing games on the internet. Um, you know, and it's why I've been my first video in a while, so I guess we'd, uh, kick it off, um, you know, with a Ridge game, so that should be fun. Uh, if you don't know, this game was made by the same people who made Quop, uh, the running game. Um, alright, so, I guess we're gonna get into it. I already, uh, as you can see here, by, uh, you know, continue. I already got into the game and played a little bit, so just, just so I could get the controls down. Um, you know, I got pretty far. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go into it. Oh. Uh, so this should be a short video. Um... So it shouldn't be too bad, it'll be like five minutes, five, ten minutes long. Um, yeah. Okay, I gotta turn my sensitivity up. Yeah, so the point of this game is just to get, if you don't know already, uh, you should. Uh, it's to get to, uh, from point A to point There's B. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. This is Bennett Foddy. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute. If you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like, if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. Okay, we're not gonna leave. Alright, thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. And don't worry, I'll save your progress, always. Even your mistakes. <laughs> This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B-games. And B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. Okay, so we can set ourselves In a down. certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B-game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly in danger of falling and losing everything. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in Sexy Hiking is real. The obstacles in Sexy Hiking are unyielding, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas.
Oh, well, there we go. That's why it's called getting over it, in case you didn't know. The trick to this game is patience, which I have none of. There's 3D models of breakfast, Gen X's fanfic novels, Scan Magazine's green screen Shia LaBeouf, banned snuff scenes on Live League, Facebook's got lifelike bots with unbranded adverts and candid shots of Kanye and Taylor Swift mashups, car crash epic failed GIFs, Russian dash cam vids, discussions of McRibs, discarded, forgotten, unrecycled, muddled, rotten, untitled. <sighs> Everything's fresh for about six seconds until some newer thing beckons and we hit refresh. And there's years of persevering, disappearing into the pile, out of style, out of sight. Okay, now we're gonna boost ourselves. Not like that. You can do it from here too. In this context, it's tempting to make friendly content that's gentle, that lets you churn through it but not earn it. Why make something demanding if it just gets piled up in the landfill, filed in okay. with the bland things? Oh, <sighs> you just lost all. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh. Come on. Okay, there we go. Oof. Sorry about that. Okay. okay. Oh, what am I doing? The more you play, the worse you get. That's a thing here. No. Oh, come on, man. Oh, no. I think that thing's there. The, what are they called? Jersey walls? Never had this much trouble on this obstacle. Oh, come on. Okay, we made it up here. Here's the easy part. I'm not sure exactly how to do this. Okay. Good place to stop up ahead. When games were new, they wanted a lot from you. Daunting you, taunting you, resetting and delaying you. Players played stoically. Now everyone's <sighs> turned off by that. They want to burn through it quickly. A quick fix for the fickle. Some tricks for the clicks of the feckless. Well, I've never done that before. But that's not you. You're an acrobat. You could swallow a baseball bat. 
Now I know, most likely you're watching this on YouTube or Twitch, while some dude with 10 million views does it for you. Like a baby bird being fed chewed up food. That's culture too. Or, your planet for... Watching, uh... From a guy who has, like, 50 subscribers on YouTube. Like me. What? Mm. What? So if you're here already, and you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing for more stupid content like this. Okay. Come on. This thing that we call failure is not the falling down, but the staying down. Mary Pickford. Let's see if we can do that again. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> Come on, man. This is getting frustrating. Ten dollar shoe fits my feet. Ten dollar shoe fits my feet. Alright, so um ten dollar shoe fits my feet. This has been going on twenty minutes, so I think we're gonna I'm gonna call this quits because I'm kinda getting sick of this. Um so I wanna thank you dude so much for watching. Um, you know, consider subscribing, hit that like button, and I'll see all you dudes in the next video. Peace out.